I've written a program that will automatically solve and play Pyramid Solitaire on Microsoft Solitaire Collection for Windows 10. It can solve board challenges, for example, clear three boards in two deals, card challenges such as clear 12 aces in two deals, and score challenges such as earn a score of 2400. It always finds the optimal solution in terms of minimizing the number of steps to reach the goal. Let's try a board challenge. Clear two boards in three deals. And just to mess around with it a little, let's resize it, move it, minimize. And now I'm going to run the program. I'm playing Pyramid Solitaire board challenge. And the first thing it does is reposition the window and start scanning all the cards in the deck. Now it's flipping through the cards to figure out all 52 cards in the game. And once it's done, it will undo the board and restart the game itself. Now there's a deck verification dialog that just popped up. Here's all the 52 cards it's scanned in the game, and it gives you an opportunity to fix things if it mistakenly gets a card wrong. Let's say, for example, the card at the lower left corner, it thought it was an ace of clubs instead of an ace of spades. It won't pass verification, and it'll tell you the ace of spades is a missing card, and the Ace of Clubs is duplicated in here. So once you fix everything, it can proceed to figure out the solution. So this took less than a second, and it found a solution. At the bottom you can see clear the board in 44 steps, remove King of Spades, and each card that's referenced by, it's referenced by name as well as location, um, just in case that you do have to correct um, any of the cards that it scanned, it can no longer trust itself to find cards based on the image on the screen. So everything works based on the position of the card. So if I click yes to play the solution, I'm not controlling anything. It's just automatically clicking on all the cards and buttons to play the game itself and solve it for you. Once it solves a game, the program exits and you can run it again to solve the next game. But for instance, let's try something a little different like a card challenge. Clear 12 aces in two deals. The way you'd run this program is a little bit different. Instead of a pyramid board challenge, it's a card challenge. And I need to clear 12 aces and currently I've cleared zero. But then it does pretty much the same thing at this point. It'll scan all the cards again and flip through the deck. Let's wait for this.
Now, when I click OK, it'll take a little bit longer to solve when it's doing card challenges or score challenges. Instead of finding the shortest route to clearing the board, it has to actually maximize something, maximize the score or maximize the number of aces removed. It'll try to clear the board as well in this case. So that took a little longer, but the solution is pretty clear. Clear the board, remove four cards of rank A, aces, in 39 steps. So that's basically it. 